might have some silver sitting around. You might want to find silver, who knows what. And you know what? You need to know if your silver is real. Okay, so I want to go over a little bit with you on how to know if it's real. So you need to look at the hallmark, okay? It, sh it might have a stamp. Now, silver might be worn, you know, through use. But hopefully, if you look and you keep looking for that hallmark, you should be able to find a hallmark. It might, you know, you should have a stamp. It might say Sterling, STG, 925950. Um, you know, they might, might have this different kind of symbol from a different country. It might have stuff that you can't even hardly um, understand. And so what you need to know, you know, it might even have 900. That's another, you know, uh, this is 0900 right there. Um, so out of a thousand parts, this should be... 900 of those parts silver. Now, you know, it might be off a little bit, but whatever. This says 830 on it. If someone was looking and they were, you know, looking for only if it said sterling, then they might have missed this. This should be about 83% silver. Sterling means um, 925, which means it's supposed to be 92.5% silver, which out of a thousand parts, 925 of those parts are supposed to be silver. Now, it's supposed to be, but you know, if they actually melt it down it might not be quite that high so let's go over a little bit so you, sh you should have a mark okay you may or may not see a mark right off the bat you know I you, you know you obviously if you watch my other video you can like turn in the light to help see a mark but what you need to know is you might not be on the bottom you need to look all over so for this particular one it looks right there if you guys can see that sterling so, um, kind of like a double stamp or something, but, um, so the mark is one way, but what if you have something and it's marked from a different country and you don't really recognize it or, you know, something like that. What if someone marked it and it's not really silver or what if the mark was worn off it or what if the jewelry or something had been altered or whatever. And so that mark is not there anymore then how would you know if it's silver? Well, sometimes, you know, you just kind of, you, you think it's silver. And like this right here, it just looked silver to me. Yeah, um, you know, there's like a some kind of a hallmark there. And if I take this chain, you can look look at the top link seal. It looks like there's a bunch of little hallmarks. So what you guys can do is you can go deeper than just looking for a hallmark. What you can do is you can acid test it. So let's do that in a bit. But um, re really quick, like if you're, you know, looking in like, uh, and, and there's a bunch of necklaces, what you want to do is you want to look for the clasp. You want to look at the clasp and look what's near the clasp, like right here, um, 925, Italy. And I just want to give you a big heads up right here, okay? When you're looking at the clasp, look right here, right at this little thing right there. See that right there? That's what you need to look look for. Let me show you this one right here. See that? Um, you know, another tip, go ahead and open and see if there's a mark on this piece when you open it like that, okay? So there's about the marks. Now let's go ahead and acid test and, you know, see what it looks like when it's silver. So here's this, okay? And when you go, you want to scratch hard, okay? If it's silver plate, you want to get through that silver plate. You want to scratch it hard. All right. So, you see, um, I may have already tested it before, but whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead. There's two different types. There's the silver solution, and then there's the 18 karat solution. The 18 karat is my favorite. Um, when you do this, it should turn a blue, okay? The silver solution, when you do it, it should turn red. See that blue? It's really easy to spot. But let's just go ahead and do this one and do the silver solution and you should be able to see what it looks like. Um, it should turn a dark red. All right, give it a second. But you can come look at this. Look how blue this is over here. I mean, that is just wow. So yeah, this is awesome. Um, can you guys see that, the, the red streaks in it? Okay, so let's go ahead and, you know what, let's test this 900 silver. 90, I mean, that is crazy blue. Okay, 
So let's test this 900 silver and let's see if it's silver. If you guys want to do it, you want to move across this and do it hard. So if there's silver plating, you're wearing away. You do not want to be deceived. You want to know for sure if it's silver or not. Let's do the 18 karat. And you kind of want to go across. Wow, look at that. Blue. Blue, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to show you guys something else. And this, um, this is a cool little trick. Okay. You might see a bracelet. Maybe it's homemade. And maybe on the clasp, you don't see anything. But it might be made out of these little blocks. So are you guys ready for this little trick? I'll look in the block. Um, right here. See that corner? Looks like there's some kind of a hallmark. Let's look at another block. Let me see here. Um, refined. See that? And the in the corner of it. So, guys, if you see something that looks homemade or whatever, or someone made it, you might not see it on the clasp, but you might see it in the blocks. So let's go ahead and let's test this and see if this is real. Uh, okay. So you get best to use the same one. I need to get a firm. All right. Let's use my eight, 18 carat here. You can get this 18 carat on the internet. You should be able to. So, wow. Look at that. Blue. Now, I, I honestly, I have my doubts um, about the clasp. If the clasp is, is real or not. So let's go ahead and do this clasp. I mean, it, it could be real, but let's just try it. Um, and see if it turns blue. Maybe so. Hey, what do you know? Cool. Awesome. So guys, <clears throat> I hope you liked the video. Please, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Put a comment down if you have another way to test it. Also, magnet, yes, you know, a jeweler's loop can help you look. <clears throat> um, so, you know, like a rare earth magnet. If you guys have any comments, you know, ways that you know of, put them in. Also, I want to do a, a ring test before we go. And um, so it should make a high-pitched ring. You guys ready? If it's silver, for a coin. So anyways, guys, thumbs up. Like the video. Please uh, consider subscribing. Have a good day.